Cardinals. You get a veto, but the kind of veto me and Tony Petrucci get is an entirely different kind of veto. It would be a cousin. Uh, let's welcome in Tony Don Vito Petrucci. How are you, Thank Tony? You, How Rob. are you? Thank you, Rob. Appreciate good, you being here. Good to see you. Good to see you all. Thanks for having me on again. I understand I stirred the pot a little bit by saying that mm-hmm. enough of Notre Dame in the fo- college football playoff. Well, a little bit. Uh, Alderton was I, all I, over I, me. I struggled by coming in today, but, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. Well, nine and three is not a bad year. You're, that's, I think, well, it's, record, it's right? a jinx type thing, uh, thing for me with uh, Kirk uh, Herbstreet, uh, you know, who Herbie. he is. Yeah. Uh, announcer for. Everybody uh, loves Herbie. Used to play quarterback for high state every time he does a game for them they really? lose really yeah and i he shouldn't even be able to announce when they play a high state get him banned from he south should bend. Be. yeah it's an ethical <laughs> thing south band yeah <laughs> <laughs> other than that uh they had a pretty good season uh, uh, you know nine and three is not bad that's not terrible but you know got a long way to go i think they're gonna go to 12 teams next year for the college football playoff. That's right. So yeah, I think uh, that, that'll be good. You're figured to get one of those slots. We hope so. Right. Yeah, well, it should. But you never know. Uh, Notre Dame in a conference. I th- I say it never happens for football. You mm-hmm. have your own TV contract with NBC. Why would you right. join a conference? Well, they probably wouldn't in football. Basketball they do. Sure. You know, they play in the ACC. Mm-hmm. So you, you always hear it off and on from uh, they should join a conference, you know, if they want to be able to – be in the playoffs but they, they, they've been in the playoffs before under kelly mm-hmm. uh and did fairly well until they played alabama as but uh, happened to many yeah, yeah so they're probably better off to stay where they're at since they have the tv all right situation. where do you rank rudy as a movie top number one <laughs> <laughs> i only watch it 25 times a year ask my wife <laughs> it is one of those movies when it's on i, I have to watch though i, I will say mm-hmm. you know that's, that's a pretty cool movie. most of that happened some of you know, there's a lot of uh, things. They it's have Hollywood, to. you know. They got to yeah, embellish a little bit. It is what it is, right? It's a classic. You know, he's in the movie in the stands behind yes, Ned Beatty. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it says exactly. in the credits. Exactly. You know, catch it. And it's a beautiful place. The 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 campus. I've never you know, been. To I've Notre been Dame. there. It's yeah. very nice. Matt, have you been to Notre Dame? Or? No, I never have. Mr. Gilstrap. Uh, nope. We went. My wife and I went out and they played Navy. Just about got beat for you. Well, it's been quite. I remember. And I, you know, I talked about other teams that were good at that time. You know, that, mm-hmm. it's probably been 10, 11 years. Mm-hmm. Navy was, you know, pretty pretty decent. And, you know, not only just against Notre Dame, but, you know, any other team. But now they've sort of slacked off a little bit. How did Marshall beat Notre Dame? Well, Mr. Huff was the coach. I guess he still is. Mm-hmm. Um, they took it for granted. You know, they went prepared. It all goes back to the coaching staff. They just weren't prepared for – and Marshall last year was was a decent team. Mm-hmm. That so, was that was a shocker, i got to say. Mm-hmm. That probably yeah, not a surprise that, to uh, say that. Yeah, they start off 0-2 because, mm-hmm. the you know, two years ago they lost the first game in high state. No shame there. And then uh, – no. And then Marshall. But then uh, Shame there. Shame. Shame. <laughs> if you're Notre Dame, yes. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Let's talk about the clerk's office, Tony. Absolutely. In your transition and taking over the mm-hmm. job, it was – uh, a, a clerk's office which had gotten a lot of publicity for, uh, and, and lately has too, for probably the wrong reasons. What was your experience uh, moving over from, from uh, Elaine Mock to uh, Tony Petrucci? Well, I couldn't ask for any, any uh, better situation with the employees. Uh, I have three uh, areas um, down in the old courthouse with the record-keeping, great, great employees that the uh, uh, they can do just about anything you, you ask them to do for the public. Uh, the finance department uh, does a great job uh, for the county. And also, as we know, voter registration uh, department, which is gearing up for the uh, uh, election here. So uh, it was the employees made it an easy transition for me. Uh, however, being a county commissioner at one time, uh, it, it gave me the edge. Uh, especially working with the budget and just see, knowing how the um, overall county um, operates. So um, f- f- comfortable. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, the first couple couple months uh, was a learning part for me, and then we had some situations come up, as you as you mentioned, which is, uh, we'll talk about that another time. But um, it's been all good. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for a better better job. 
I know there's an investigation going on, so there's not a whole lot you can say, but no. can you tell us how you became aware of the financial irregularities that led to the embezzlement indictment? Well, it was sort of, a, you know, accounting 101. You know, you, I start asking some question how this is done, and, and this was done with the with the money on a daily basis, and uh, um, it, it came up that way with the deposits and things like that. So uh, we immediately, after we found there was a problem, as you've uh, mentioned in my statement, um, we turned it over to the state auditor's office after it got to a certain uh, uh, level, and they've handled it ever since. So, what what is that process like? What steps do you follow when you're you're discovering something like this, and then you turn it over to the auditor? Well, once once you turn it over, um, you're at their mercy, whatever they want. You know, they come in and ask for you know this transactions uh, for a particular year, um, and you just sit back and wait. Uh, uh, my my um, chief deputy, she she took care of a lot of that through them, uh, whatever they needed, um, and you know I I was out of it. I wipe my hands clean. It's their deal. They take care of it, and the rest is going to be history. Did they have any future contact with you uh, once since this indictment was handed down? Mm, Has there been I haven't more talked contact? to them since since the indictment. No. Are you expected to provide any other information as that goes along? I doubt it. When, when they first notify you, is it done by a phone call, an official letter, a, a visit? Well, I notified them. Right, but uh, that, that they were coming in to then start. Oh, they call you. They call you. They just yeah. call and say, they're, you know, they're, they're coming to get this information. They give you a couple of days notice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they have other areas that they had to look into other than the, than the clerk's office. Once this type of an investigation takes place. Does the office itself go on some type of probationary period with the auditor's office no. that they're looking at transactions for so many no. years after? No, 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 not, not, not they didn't mention it to me. Not that I was aware of okay. nothing of that type of we, business as usual. Mm -hmm. So us, th there's been us. no changes in your office. Otherwise, no. no, have you had to put in any particular system of guidelines or checks and balances since then to ensure well, we did that happen again? I, I did that prior. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once we um, did that, uh, we found some uh, some problems that was so we moved forward with that. But uh, since you have notified the auditor's office of what you initially discovered, have there been any other items that you've discovered that you've then had to forward no. onto that? No, no, sir, Mr. Miller. And the auditor's office has not come back with any additional information no. to say they've found or discovered anything no. any different. Not at all. All right. No, no. When I hear you talk about <clears throat> the finances and dealing with this issue, the, the record keeping and, and then the voter registration, those three things seem like so different kind of areas. Uh, tell us yeah. more about the, the clerk's office and, and yeah. the overall load that you have. Well, you know, mo most people probably do realize, but there's a lot that don't. We know we, we – or the record keeping mm -hmm. facility for the for the county, you know, birth certificates, uh, marriage license, all the record keeping for the the lawyers of uh, trans real estate transactions. Mm -hmm. So you know, we have several people that just take care of that on a daily basis. Um, they can be very very busy at times. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's one part. Uh, the voter registration. Uh, we have guidelines that are set by the Secretary of State that each, uh, each month we have to sort of take a look at, especially now. Uh, you know, we're moving forward to, to the uh, primary. So mm -hmm. starting in, uh, you know, January, we have people that want to run that can, can, can uh, sign up. Um, and uh, absentee ballots, uh, getting ready for our additional, uh, two additional early voting places is going to be very critical for the county. I think it's going to be a good thing. So um, uh, they, they, the voter registration uh, people down there do a great job with working and we, with the city. Uh, I've noticed uh, we had some issues with precincts where we had to correct some precincts in, in the city of Martinsburg. No problem. You know, uh, my voter registration supervisor worked with uh, the city's uh, person, Ms. Long, and went well. Um, there was no problem with that. Uh, you know, when you need to get it done, you need to get it done. And then, you know, we're not asking for 
uh, anything out of the ordinary normally with, mm -hmm. with things like that. And then the finance department, which is under the, the, the uh, clerk, I'm finance director, and there's two other people under her uh, that sort of uh, overlooks the financial part of each each uh, um, uh, elected official's budget. I've all, I've told each one of them if they have any problems, go go and ask this person um, what do I need to do if I'm over on them, some you know something one line item or whatever. And working with the uh, commission has been uh, is is important for her to do that. And, and they've been very uh, supportive uh, with me working with um, with the finance department because uh, prior to that there wasn't too much in involvement with the finance department with the clerk, and I've changed that because you know, that's one of the duties that's mm -hmm. that's right, that's uh, listed. I remember you talking about that when you were running for yeah. election. Yeah. So um, I try to meet with uh, these people uh, once a week, maybe more. All depends on what's happening. Um, voter registration. I'll probably be down in that area uh, on a weekly basis once we get started with the overall uh, sign signing in of people and pre candidacy, which you can do that now if you want, if you want to raise money. So, um, but most of the time when people think of the Berkeley County clerk or whatever county it is, it's always about the, the election. Mm -hmm. They they really don't understand the other part of it, which, right. I, which I've mentioned. Okay. Mr. Gilstrap, <clears throat> I want to get back to this, um, <laughs> the, the business of Ms. Beavers, who's indicted, it's 41 count indictment, right, that, that totals $272,080. Um, I'm curious, at, at several levels, and, and not get into the details of the case, but the, um, and of course, indictments are not convictions and, and we, we put all that out that everything is, is alleged at this point but clearly there were these were not all tiny checks that were written some of them were pretty substantial checks that were written for for poor purposes and as as a as an outsider looking in I think well somebody should have seen that so not addressing that now under the new system when somebody does write a check what is the review process to make sure that it is legitimate and that we don't end up walking down the, the same path mm -hmm. as before? Mm -hmm. Well, we have, uh, let's just back up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to talk about too much about okay. the, 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 the case at all. I mean, I gave a statement to, to Mr. Mario a month ago. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that with that part. But we established at the end of the day two people – that count the money. Okay. Uh, next morning, we have two additional people. Two, two other people count the money. Before it goes to the bank. Then it goes in a bag, locked up. We leave the key here. There's a key that the bank has. Um, that's one little part. The other part, I write out about 12, 13, 14 checks a month. Um, that's part of the clerk's duties. To 911, state auditor's office. Uh, my handwriting only. It's not a stamp. I go over each uh, check before I sign it and what it is with the chief deputy. And I write the check out, and that's it. And is that different than the way it used to be? No, uh, that's the way it should have been. Okay. I don't know how they did it, but that's the way I do it. All right. And when you started digging into the – was this an accidental discovery on your part? I mean, just sort of going through stuff and then, well, that doesn't look right? Or were there suspicions that kind of drove you to drill down? Into Actually, it was just, a, it was, a, I don't, if you want to say accidental, yeah, it probably was. It was just something that uh, we were looking into and we, we found some problems. So once we found some problems, we moved on. Um, so look into it a little bit more before we panic. You, know, you don't want to panic real quick. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we found it. So then we, moved, we, we then we called the auditor's office and we let them take care of it. Yeah, <clears throat> I write thrillers for a living. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and you know, I go into don't necessarily have to comment on this. I, I go into the emotions of that um, oh darn moment that when you start and you go. And it starts getting deeper, and there has to there has to come a tipping point where you say, "Okay, 
where we need to move this mm -hmm. up, move, move mm -hmm. this up the line. Was that over the course of hours, days? Oh, we looked into it for at least a month. Okay. Before we actually just said, okay, it's it's time to uh, call our lawyer. Um, and they moved on with the investigate for the uh, city, and then it was time to call the uh, state auditor's office. So we wanted to make sure mm -hmm. that uh, you know it wasn't anything that we missed. Right. And um, that's how it happened. Well, the good news is things like this tend to purify organizations. You know, it's um, you you find the hole and you can plug it and and, and move on. Mm -hmm. So, and as we approach now, shifting gears, as we do approach the the voting season, I don't know if if the drumbeat of of the media and the world is going to continue to be on on voter registration irregularities, but. Do you expect that to dominate a lot of your time moving forward, to, or have have we already got the systems in place that we're confident in? And, and well, I'm confident with our people that I haven't voter registrations, no question. Uh, they've they've been a, uh, under uh, one election. Mm -hmm. uh, they had some problems, uh, major problems, in my opinion, from the outsider at that time before I was a county clerk. Like what? Oh, um, getting people uh, registered in, in the right uh, precinct, uh, having um, signs posted at different places where they need to vote. Uh, that, that some, some, some of the, a lot of it small things, but it, it, if you don't see a sign, you, you, you know, people get a little bit nervous. Um, Technology is important, so the, mm -hmm. we want to make the machine, make sure our machines were working, and we did. And the IT department does a very good job, but I get a little nervous about that. So I've communicated with uh, Mr. Wine, who is now our county administrator, and we're actually going to have an, an IT person at about five or six locations. He's going to be, he or she will be responsible for. So like. Hedgesville, Hedgesville High, James Rumsey Votech, Tomahawk Valley uh, School, whatever. Uh, we're going to have a person like at Hedgesville High School. So if somebody has a problem at Tomahawk, you're talking 10 minutes away instead of 25 minutes away if you're downtown Martinsburg if, at the IT. We'll do the same way at south end of the county, uh, north end of the county. So that's good. that'll ease some of my pain. With with <laughs> with with uh, knowing that we're going to have people there to help, Be other than something not being plugged in, mm -hmm. uh, training is important uh, with our poll workers. We're going to do that up at the second floor of the old courthouse. More room, so very very important. They, I, I want them to leave there knowing that they're not scared of that machine, and they know what to do. How long is the training regimen? Uh, it could. It's probably going to last an hour, hour and a half. We have a, uh, a, a movie that we have to watch or a film strip, whatever we call it. It's mandated by the state. And then, then we'll move on with hands-on um, process for the uh, poll workers. Is so. it Rudy that you make them watch before the elections, <laughs> Tony? <laughs> well, I, uh, Is that it, the movie? A lot of inspiration there. It could <laughs> be, it, it could be something that, that might get them that extra ump. I agree. Well, they all, or they all might walk out and <laughs> see you. <laughs> But I just like the reference to film strip. Um, how yeah. many people are going film strip? I, I don't remember those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so uh, the technology part is, is a concern, but um, we're addressing it all. Uh, does that answer your question? It does. You know, it's just. I mean, there's, there's more, but, there's, the, you know, there's, there's not, an enormity to your job mm -hmm. that yeah. I find sort mm -hmm. of staggering. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and, and things come in. Some things are constant and some things come in cycles. And, and the yeah. elections, if if I were, this is why I don't do stuff like you do, it would be like, oh, elections are coming up really fast. We need to start this new program <laughs> Yeah, get it well, done. But you, 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 so I, I guess it sounds to me like things are, are moving along. The, 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 the employees are very knowledgeable. Uh, but, you know, when you're on the outside before you get into an office, whether you're a county clerk or a county commissioner, you hear things. You know, you, you, you see things, so you just want to, until you're in there, you really don't know. 
But, you know, from the outside, it, it was uh, cons- there were some concerning things, and I think we we're addressing them as we move forward. Were some of those concerning things um, a result of the redistricting, and and now I think you have some of it was man. right. Yeah, there was some issues there with that. Uh, we've addressed that with the city. Mm-hmm. We've got that precinct uh, um, going to the council in the next couple of weeks. I think there's a process there, just like we did with the uh, early voting. You have to advertise it in a paper mm-hmm. uh, for 30 days before they uh, approve it. So, yeah. There was some, uh, and you know, you know, we don't want our we, we want everybody to get a card, voter registration card that that we can, that if they have the right address, and uh, we don't want uh, um, people getting wrong information from other counties, <laughs> that that sometimes happens. But um, we're they're working on it, yeah. you know, and, and they know how I feel about it, you know. Tony, do you know how many and what your early voting locations will be? How many of them? We're gonna have we're gonna have three. We're gonna have the one downtown, mm-hmm. which was always been there for mm-hmm. ten days prior to the election. Uh, we're gonna have another one at Beddington Rotan, and then the third one at the uh, substation in Pikeside. Uh, um, a um, used to be a fire company, mm-hmm. well, small, small. So that's the third one. Yeah. How, how many are you permitted to have? Is, oh, yeah. Uh, Kanawha County has ten. I mean, you could have as many as you, you think you need, but. Uh, in this case, we, we felt like three was enough, mm-hmm. you know, north end, south end, in the middle of, of the uh, uh, of Martinsburg. I, and I, I think poll workers got a raise in the last Yeah, they make $300 a, uh, a day. Mm-hmm. And they should have. Mm-hmm. It was 200 for a while, and that's set by the commission. We, we have nothing to do Local with county that. commission? Local county commission. It's yeah. not state mandated? No, 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 it's not state. Uh, and how many will you need to pull off early election and then election day? Any idea yet? About 300. 300 people? Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. have you begun rounding those uh, folks up just yet? Oh, yeah. they've, they've uh, the, 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 Our office uh, has, the, has the names and, and the list and uh, working with each uh, the Republican club and the Democratic club. You know, you have to, there's a process there you got to work with, with um, getting c- commissioners for each uh, – uh, voting place, and I assume many of those folks come back each year, each, I, each election. I, I think they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll find out after this this one, this election. This is my first one. Final minute. What do you want to tell the listeners about what the business of the clerk's office has been since you took over? Well, Phil, you know, we want everybody to feel free to come in and ask any questions. We're going to be working on a, a Facebook page. Uh, that we we've had a Facebook page, Ber- Berkeley County Clerks uh, hyphen West Virginia, and we had to put the hyphen in because there is a uh, Berkeley County in South Carolina. <laughs> we we all made that mistake once. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we we want we want to get the message out uh, through the Facebook. Um, of course, it's also the web, and uh, that uh, we're working hard to uh, make this. Uh, election work well i mean that's the next step uh and um i think we'll be prepared but it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and uh all the employees know how i feel so we uh and i want the the, the uh, people of berkeley county to feel comfortable that they can come in and ask questions or they can get on on the on the web uh, page himself through the Secretary of State's office to register. There's so many ways to register. Mm-hmm. We were looking at something maybe on a Saturday to let some people come in and register to vote. I'm looking at that for a few hours. I don't know if it'll work or not. But we, we, we might try it. All right, we'll send you out with some theme music here, Tony. There you go. There you, you like that? <laughs> oh, my. 